Hi, in this video we will discuss about SAP Simple Finance Solution Architecture. Then we will see what are the different deployment options we have. And then we will see how we can create the manual reposting of cost and how we can create the primary cost in the Simple Finance system. So these two points we will cover in the system demo. So first of all, let's discuss about the architecture of SAP Simple Finance solution. So SAP Simple Finance provides the large cost and time saving to manage finance and accounting by leveraging the computing power of SAP HANA. So the Universal General combines all the good qualities of accounting components whereas in the previous SAP Finance accounting tool all the components are separately managed due to the technical restrictions without the HANA platform. But with this new architecture all the entries are managed by the single Universal Journal and it is a single source for all the components with one line item table. So we can see here that this one line item has all my information of all the components which include my GL, COPA, CO, asset accounting and the material ledger. So now I have a single line item table with full details for all the components. After that what are the different deployment options for the simple finance solutions. So we have the three different options of deployment which are the cloud, on-premise and hybrid. So when we deploy the central finance system in the cloud deployment scenario, the data replication is performed using the same mechanism that is used in the on-premise installation which is SLT. So the non-SAP reporting and the analytics and additional SAP system uh, simple finance or the partner products need to be con connected to the cloud instance or be made available within the cloud installation as required. So now let's see how we can do the manual reposting of the cost in the SAP simple finance solution. So we will go to the system where we have SAP simple finance solution. Let's close everything and start from the beginning how we can log into the system. So here we have the SAP simple finance solution added to the SAP logon. We will double click on it and here we have to enter the username and the password. So we'll go here and enter the username and password. Just a minute. Okay, so we'll continue. Yeah, so we can do the manual posting of cost in SAP Simple Finance Solution and display the results in the table. So to do the manual reposting, we have to navigate to the accounting. So here we have the accounting under the SAP menu. Then we have to go to the controlling. Then we can go to the cost center accounting. And here we have actual postings. And under that we have the option of manual reposting of cost. So either we can navigate from SAP menu or we can use the transaction KB11N to go to the manual reposting of cost screen. After that, once we will go into this transaction, so we will get the screen to enter the manual repostings of the primary cost. Here we have to enter the controlling area. So let's say we can click on this controlling area menu. And here we have the list of all the different controlling areas we have in the system. So let's say if we select this 1001 controlling area and we'll click on this. Now on this screen we have to enter the data and the additional information.
so in this we need to enter the data of the controlling area then we have to enter the document type so to select the document type we can click on this magnifying glass and here we have all the different document types in the system so we can see that we have the gl account document we have the asset posting we have accounting document depreciation posting so depending on our requirement we have to select the gl account document type here so let's say if we select the document type as sa so here we have sa which is for the gl account document after that we have the option of selecting the ledger group then the document date posting date then what is the date valid date the period then the reference document and the document text here we have to enter the details of that item number so let's say here i have to enter the any number which is 1000 here we have to enter the cost element so we can also select the cost element from this so we can enter the cost element here and we can select it so let's say if i select the cost element here as 400 then we have to enter the amount and then we have to enter the currency type so by default it is using the inr but i can go here and i can choose the currency type which i need like we have the option of uh, united arab emirates dirham and we have uh, then we have afghani all other different currencies which are available in the system so we can choose the currency as per our requirement so here we have we have to enter all the details for this particular line item so once we have entered this after that we can enter the total quantity and we have to enter the details which are mentioned here like the text if you want to enter any text so once we will do that after that we can click on this save option so once we will click on the save option it will save the entry in the system so if we want to see the entry we can go to the transaction which is se16n so i will go to the transaction se16n now in this transaction we can confirm the entry by pressing the enter key and here we can enter the name of the table which is acdoca so we can click on acdoca and we can click on enter so once we will click on enter we can see this that it has the document number inside it so there is one field which is a document number inside this table so we can click on this document number so here if we go and click on this one it will open up the screen where we can select the document number so we can see the data inside this table so if you go to the table display after that if we go to the execute online here we will be able to see the complete data inside this table so we can see that all these entries they exist in this table so here we can verify the entry which we have just created so this is how we can do this after that now let's see how we can create a primary cost in the sap simple finance solution so we can create the sap we can create the primary cost account in the updated gl account maintenance transaction so in the sap finance accounting primary cost elements are personal cost material cost venue cost element is carried between fi and controlling it is called the primary and linked is established using the gl account so now let's see how we can create a primary cost in this system so this is my main menu so from the sap menu we have to again go to the accounting under the accounting we have the option of financial accounting so if we expand the financial accounting underneath we have general ledger 
then we have the master records then the jl accounts then the individual processing and under that we have this centrally fs00 so this is for my creating of the creation of the primary cost so let's click on that so now in this window we have to enter the gl account we have to enter the company code and then we have to click on the template button so if we click on the template button which is with template we will be prompted to enter the value in the reference gl account box so here we have to enter the value in the reference account which is my like from which account i want to create it so i can enter the reference gl account and the reference company code so we can click on this we can enter the value and then we can click on that if we close this one then we have the control data option so under the control data option we can see what all different options we have okay first of all we have to select any gl account here let's say if i select it by star so if i select the gl account this one and then here i have to select the company code so let's say if i select this 1001 so once we have entered the details about the reference gl account and the reference company code we will be on this screen so here on the screen we can see that what is the description of it so i can see that it is a local customer and the gl account long test also it's a local customer now after that we have to go to the control data tab so if we go to the control data tab we will be able to see more details inside it so we can see that we have the option of assigning this alternate account number so an alternate account number can only be assigned to one account of the operational chart of accounts so we can delete the entry for the copy after that if we scroll down we can see the different options available here so we have the option of account management in company code we have the option of multi currency accounting and then we have the option of joint venture data in the company code so similarly if we go to the next tab which is a create bank or interest so if we go here we can choose the record quantity so here uh, we can we have the option of this record quantity check box so we can enter the value here after that we can go to the keyword translation so in the keyword translation we have the option of keywords in the chart of accounts so if we want to enter any language or the keywords so we can save that information here then similarly we have the next tab which is information so if we go to this tab so we can see that here we have the option about the company code like what is the chart of accounts what is the country key what is the controlling area so this is how we can enter the complete information which we need for creating this primary cost so once we are done with this after that we can click on the save button to save this primary cost so in this session we have seen what is the architecture of sap simple finance system what are the different deployment options we have then we have seen how we can do the manual reposting of the cost and how we can create the primary cost thank you